All right, so I'm now at the entrance to my garden. So I wanted to share with you just what I've been doing this week and share with you how big the plants are getting actually. So if you haven't seen my previous garden tours, feel free to go back and watch those. Thank you for checking it out. And I'm gonna turn this camera around just a moment. All right, so I am at the beginning of the garden. And if you watched last week, you'll know that I had quite a few um, overgrown plants still and a big poke bush and I took that down yesterday and I started, started clearing it with the lawnmower but I haven't got all the way through it yet. I am still working on, you know, growing things here in this plot. I did see, I do believe, this is probably one of the asparaguses that I planted, I think. And so I kind of need to weed out this back section. So when I get to doing the strawberry hill, and then I'll probably be moving this pile of dirt that I took out of here on top of the strawberry hill once I get it completely eradicated. I did need to get some of my tomato, my larger tomatoes planted outside. So I went ahead and put three over here. And I have been trying to grow some carrots, but I think it's not the right season for carrots. So we might just have to wait on those or do a different type of soil altogether for them. And this is my beans. I have seen them grow tremendously. We've had so much rain for the last week and I think it just really helped them bloom. So these are actually spiraling up the um, trellis now, which is amazing to me because they spent so long just trying to survive. I am trying to grow a little snow pea down here just to grow up with them. I was trying to find spots for them. And this one's really pretty as well. It has a cute little purple flower on it again. Also, my dahlias are growing and pull that out. I started weeding out a lot of this stuff yesterday, but I haven't quite finished. So my cucamelons, if you remember my last video, the cucamelons I've had, I have been struggling with. I did plant seeds under the cups and I left the cups on top because I'm afraid that the birds are stealing my seeds. However, I do have some cute little cucamelon sprouts growing and I don't think these are I might have to try a couple new seeds again. I haven't been able to see any come up under the cups that are left. So I still have one there too. And as you can see, I planted some kind of squash. That was a volunteer squash and I have no idea what kind it is. I went ahead and just planted it here because I'm still not sure if the cucamelons are going to work. And then three more tomato plants over here. And... So my radishes, like I said last on my last video, they bolted, and they are forming seed pods, as you can see the seeds, seed pods. So I'm just letting them dry out so I can get more radish seeds. That one you can kind of see the radish on, but I am just letting them form seed pods. And I'm actually letting the uh, lettuce go to um, bolt as well right now, and I'm just practicing and learning how to do seed pods and actually getting the seeds because... I do think that seeds are becoming more and more rare right now, and so the more seeds you can get is best. I really think these poor corns, but look, they're surviving. I don't know what they're going to look like this year because they're so short, but we will see. That one actually sprouted quite a bit. And I have three more dahlias. You can see one, two, three, my dahlia plants. I actually got those at Aldi's in a bag, so we'll see how they turn out. I did one tomato here and one more tomato over here. I'm just trying to space them out among the garden. Like I have one here as well. I'm trying to figure out where to put them, but these are mostly peas and some have some kind of fungus on them and I'm not really sure. So this year is just gonna be more of a practice garden and then I'll try to keep gardening through the fall. My snow pea here is sort of getting there. And I've actually cut some of the kale leaves off of this, pretty much most of them, and it's come back in full. So that kale is doing really well. And then my squash I've been meaning to show you has been crazy. So this end, of course, is chili poblano peppers. 
and I'm really excited about that because I love making a chili uh, poblano, like like a almost like a chili relleno egg casserole. It's really good. But there's the baby one, so I'm very 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 excited. And let me start over here. So I have let this one go to seed. I'm growing it extremely large so that it can produce quality seeds for next year. Ooh, it's got a honeybee circling me. And like I said, my melons last week, this is my melon plants. It has gone bananas. I think they really enjoyed all that rain. And then this plant, literally, I'm not kidding you, this plant right here is one plant. It goes all the way out there, and it's been expanding all the way over here. And I will show you what it is growing, if I don't step on it. It is growing, let's see. Let me see if I can find some. It is growing these. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. I've been trying to ask people for information on recipes and, you know, just stuff to do. That's a table acorn squash is, I think, what it's called. But I have plenty of flowers still growing on it. So we're going to see how long this thing lasts. Usually they don't do well in the summer, but it is growing. And I have quite a few table acorn squash growing on it. The melons actually are growing as well. There are melons. I'll see if I can find some to show you. Let me go around. I'm pretty sure I saw one over here yesterday. Oh, look at that. There's a melon. I'm not sure what kind of melon. I thought I planted Hale's Best, so I thought they were cantaloupe. Maybe that's what they look like at the beginning. I don't know. I'm learning. So, and then, of course, my... Uh, pe pepper plants are doing actually a lot better than last week so I do need to weed out a little bit more again on this section as well but this end over here is jalapenos and they're getting there these are all bell peppers through the middle and oh my gosh look at I just saw this for the first time the banana peppers are growing. These plants are really small, which is sort of funny. I did plant a squash yesterday. So that is, we're going to see, because that was a volunteer squash and I don't know what kind it is. So this is kind of funny, but we have banana peppers growing and wow, I actually just saw this as well. I planted these seeds and I thought the birds ate them all, but those are going to be watermelons. And they finally, finally, oh my gosh, they're finally sprouting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's another one. I thought for sure the birds ate all of these. Oh, there's another one. I actually thought for sure the birds ate all of these and I planted them inside again so that the birds couldn't eat the seeds. And I have several uh, plants that I'm bringing out that I hardened off. But this is fabulous. I can always plant my watermelons in an, another spot somewhere and let these grow here. Oh, this is amazing. I wonder if my zucchini will grow. I did have another volunteer squash. It's quite funny. There was another volunteer squash, and I tried planting it on this end, but it's not doing the best right there. So we'll see how it survives. Um, Update on the uh, garden beds. We did get a lot of the overgrown grass at least in the middle parts, cleared out. And we are working on digging out more holes, but we, we get out here and ended up doing all the gardening and ended up not getting it dug. Um, but we did get it started to figure out where, and then our chainsaw died, and Michael's using it to cut off the edge ends of the legs to cut them down. So we're going to have to come out and finish this up later. And so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at in the garden. And so thank you again for watching. And my lovely daughter showed up, so let me say hi to her. So thank you for watching. And this is Shayla, she's my youngest. So I'm just wanting to say thank you very much for watching all of that long video of my garden tour today. And keep watching for more updates every week. I hope you have a good day.